Hello, my name is Christopher Clayton Morris, though you may know me better under the pseudonym Dr. Sumerian, and this is part of a new series I'm hoping to do, depending on the reaction of the community and my subscribers. This author sent an article into me specifically seeking the harshest critique I could give them, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to be a dick about it. Do not be a dick to people who have not specifically requested it. And when I say that, I don't mean someone who puts a draft up on the SCP forums and says, be as harsh as you want to be, because first of all, the SCP Wiki has rules about this now. If you're harsh, you can get banned. Don't be a dicks to people for being bad writers, because being a bad writer is how you become a good writer. But at the same time, I, I also accept that there's a bit of a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Desire for this kind of content. People enjoy watching someone else get taken down. And fortunately, some people enjoy getting taken down. So we're going to do that right now. Item number, SCP-1903. <laughs> what? 19 <laughs> well, first of all, 1903 is already taken. And secondly, are you one of those people who, like, starts looking for baby names before they're even dating anyone? Because this is a little bit presumptuous. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1903-1 is to be kept inside a 5 meter by 5 meter containment cell. I see this all the fucking time. And, and this is the thing that bothers me about people who are designing the containment cell itself. You are not a fucking architect. And if you are, still don't put that there. And, and what does 5 meters by 5 meters mean? Is it 5 meters long by 5 meters tall? Or 5 meters... And also that's pretty fucking big. Uh, Look, just do this. When you have a containment cell, say, uh, what is this, a humanoid containment cell? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no personnel are permitted in making contact, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this is going to be a humanoid containment cell, so just fucking say that. You can skip on saying it's five meters by five meters by five meters. It's one door with mechanical controls, blah, 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 for entering and exiting the cell. One door for entering and exiting the cell. Is there another reason to use a door? No windows are permitted. Oh, wow, no windows. It's going to be in the middle of a fucking black site. First of all, if you wanted to have windows, they could probably have windows. I don't know. Fuck these people. <sighs> You're not an architect, so stop trying to be one. Just say SCP-1903-1903. SCP-1903-1 is to be kept inside a humanoid containment cell. There, you're fucking done. No personnel in any contact between 2100 and no 700 local time, except as approval for researcher. That's a bit of a high-level uh, requirement, but I will go with it for now, because I don't know what your anomaly is. Monitoring was allowed to be stationed inside the cell. It must be turned off by 2100. There's a lot of this 2100 to 700 local time, so that's probably important. So the center of another cell of 10 meters by 10 meters. Ten, again, and, okay, here's your problem. If your cell is 6 meters by 5 meters by, we're going to pretend like you actually put a third thing in here, and by 2 meters? 3 meters. We'll call it 3 meters because that's tall enough for someone to stand in. 2 meters may be, may be enough for someone to stand in, but you want to give it a little bit more than that. Ugh. Fucking architects. God damn it. It's, you got me thinking about it now, you stupid f Five meters by five meters by six meters. Is that going to cause a containment breach? Because if not, you don't need to define the actual fucking dimensions of the room. <sighs> Secondary cells be occupied by one D class at all times. In the event of SCP 1903 1's death, the D class personnel occupying the secondary cells will be designated SPC 1903. Ugh, you're the fucking reason why we have shark punching center articles. God damn you, fucking piece of shit. And proper containment procedures can you minutes of 0700 the next morning. Fucking great. That's good to know. Like, that, there's nothing wrong with that so far. To maintain the psychological well being of 1903 1, Subject is provided with any entertainment he or she requests within reason. Okay. The D-class occupying the secondary cell will have his or her monthly termination delay. Oh, fucking monthly termination, right? Let's stop for a second. I want you to understand something when you're talking about D-class. 
if the D-class are terminated at the end of every... People are not cheap. L let me put it that way. Human resources are fucking valuable. Like, this whole idea that we take prisoners and we put them into these dangerous situations and then we kill them at the end of the month is fucking stupid. The people who we use for things are going to eventually acquire skills that make them better at doing the things we want them to do. Why would you fucking kill them? Here's the thing. Maybe there are anomalies that make sense for you to kill people every month. But not every fucking anomaly, and you don't need to make it a fucking exception for people because monthly terminations is a fucking stupid idea. Let's just pretend like that doesn't exist. It's a thing that people used early on in the site to try and be edgy, and it doesn't fucking work in practice. You cannot kill people every month and expect to not run out of fucking death row inmates. In fact, there's probably not enough people... For, oops, we don't have time for the D-class argument. There's not enough people for D... Fuck, 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 fuck. There's n mm. Description. Initial cat, what are you doing? That's not a description. That is not describing anything. Initial capture of SCP-1903. Fuck you. Fuck. Oh, data expunged. That's fantastic. Ugh. The then current host of SCP-1903. Okay, so what the fuck is SCP-1903? You gotta tell me in the first one or two sentences of the fucking description, or else I don't fucking know, and I don't fucking care. I don't care where it was acquired from. You've already left me hanging about 20 times in the special containment procedures, which is fine. That is how an article is fucking structured. But he... <clears throat> Okay, we're, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on initial capture of you gotta describe it in the first sentence maybe two I, I need to know what your anomaly is or else what the f he asked to be arrested and was taken into custody oh so there's an opportunity where someone shows up at a fucking foundation site asks to be arrested and we're just like Nah. <sighs> Upon being placed in a holding cell, the host closed his eyes for the prerequisite time and activated the effect. What effect? What effect? What effect? <laughs> Due to the nature of the effect, the state of the cell in which the host was confined, and a simultaneous activation of S cell, of course, simultaneous activation of another SCP. That certainly makes sense. A containment breach of both SCP-1903 and SCP Black Box. B because, of course, you couldn't find something else that would work for you. <sighs> yeah, this is, this is going to be fun. We're only very nearly averted in time. During the days prior to this incident, data expunged. Because of... We're going to talk about that was monitored using the term the dar- oh, fuck you. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not gonna give your SCP a fancy name called the darkness. The only time I want to hear the words of the darkness, you fucking edgy piece of shit, is when someone says that they're playing a concert nearby because I believe in a thing called love is a good song. This is a shitty SCP. SCP-1903 is an infectious anomalous effect. Oh, now you tell me what it is. After you've introduced how it was acquired by the Foundation. Fan-fucking-tastic. Oh, and SCP-1903-1, which prior to now we had no fucking clue what it was. <sighs> wow, these fucking people. The anomalous effect takes place whenever the host closes his or her eyes for longer than 2 minutes and 7 seconds, or at... 2116 local time and lasts until 0654 regardless of activation time. Local time is always respected with regards to the time's activation and they move the host over time zone lines blah 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 blah. The anomalous effect as displayed by the host absorbs all... Oh, fucking, fucking, finally. And this is the fucking thing. We're in the third paragraph of the description and up till now, I have no fucking idea what your anomaly actually is understand and this is a problem not just for writers not just for people in the scp wiki but people in general 
understand that I am not inside your brain. I do not know the things that you know already, so fucking tell me what you want to tell me. Don't tell me things about the thing you want to tell me. Tell me the thing you want to tell me, and then tell me the things about the thing. The subject must be contained inside a room with four walls, a floor, and a ceiling in order for the anomalous effect to be observed. Testing has indicated that when the room's ceiling is open to the outside, the effect will no longer activate. Given the escape attempts by Black Box of the past, you couldn't give me a number. You couldn't give me a number. What fucking use is this information? You couldn't. Whoa. Mm. Is there going to be an uptick in uh, containment breaches if you tell me how many people have escaped during containment of this anomaly while we tried to use an open ceiling? The fucking, oh my god, these people. I mean, that's half the problem with expungements and black boxes. Half of the problem. The other half of the problem is sometimes even when they seem like they're appropriate, they ruin your fucking story, but... This is useless censorship. This is the kind of censorship that makes no fucking sense. It's just thrown in there to f <laughs> See, this is the part that just gets to me. You've deliberately designed your anomaly in such a way, and, and the situation surrounding that anomaly in such a way as to try and force a particular set of circumstances. But you failed at it incredibly badly because a few people have tried to escape what it, and it says attempts so they didn't escape because of course they didn't escape because what what did you do build a two meter tall wall around them with no ceiling just fucking build it 10 10 meter you want to be an architect that's a fucking be an architect design a fucking containment cell Build it with 10 meter tall walls if you fucking want to. No one's climbing out of that. Put him at the bottom of a fucking pit. Do whatever the fuck you want. Just... Mm, mm. But no. You want to design it so that the actual effect still occurs. So people can be scared of the darkness. The effect of the anomalous event on SCP-1903-1 is twofold. First, the host loses consciousness. Second, the host dreams for the entire period. Can I ask you a question? How do you think sleep works? You think that, like, that's not two things. That's one thing. What? EKG monitoring of the heart is sufficient to determine this without any risk. What risk? You haven't defined a risk. Like, I assume that there's some risk involved here? What is the risk? Oh, for fuck's sake. An infectious anomalous effect. If it's... You know what? Let's take a step back. And I just realized something. You talk about it as though it's dangerous to other people. You call it an infectious anomalous effect, which occupies one host at a time. What is it? Essentially, if SCP-1903-1 dies, it goes to whoever happens to be around? Is that where you're going with this? Is, is that the thing? Because if that's the case... Literally, just put him in a fucking pit and put another D-class in a fucking pit next to him. Bam, you're fucking done. Anyway, so he sleeps and he dreams. Any monitoring of brain activity will extend the area of SCP-9... What? See, you're starting to lose... You're really starting to lose your thematic consistency here, but whatever. The content of the dream varies from host to host, but not from dream to dream. Us have been confirmed to encounter the same situations as in previous dreams, but with full knowledge of previous encounters. Interviews with hosts have been difficult to complete due to the effects of SCP-1903 on the host. However, the dreams have been described as nightmares by all hosts. I'm glad we're getting more edgy here, thanks. Common environments... Oh, really? Yep, that's entirely... Yep, all right, well, that's, that's where we're going. Mm-hmm. Common environments encountered include halls of fire, tar pits, boats made entirely of flesh and bone, which actually sounds pretty cool. Throw that out there. Host is subject to torture in all environments, the form of which is dictated by whatever the host feels is most gruesome. Cool. It has been shown that there is not a really new form of torture. <laughs> hey, have you heard about being put to the boats? Like, it's that's lit literally the worst form of torture I've ever heard of, is being put in 
put it to the boat. You can look that up yourself because I'm not fucking describing it, but let me tell you this right fucking now. You have lost all thematic consistency here. Like, you... Your anomaly is dangerous because it causes darkness, but also it causes terrible nightmares and sufferers. You would hate to be a sufferer of this because if you were a sufferer of this, you would have nightmares. Fucking regular people have nightmares. Nightmares are not that big of a deal. All these tortures are described as physical in nature. The faces are invariable, psychological, blah, 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 fucking blah. Host display symptoms of sleep deprivation, mild symptoms of stress, induced trauma. Host begin to eat and drink less. Host displaying more severe symptoms of stress induced trauma. Blah, 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 blah. Host will refuse all food and drink, walking back and forth on the corner of his or her bed while muttering. I'm about to be fucking doing that because of fucking reading this draft. <sighs> this is my nightmare right here. Let me just tell you that. If I get infected by the darkness, this, reading this, reading this would be my ultimate form of torture nothing less you know those boats that i was talking about earlier that you looked up and were seriously disgusted by fuck it fuck it no that's not the worst torture the worst torture is reading your bullshit the infectious nature is only apparent when the rumor occupied more than one person when two rumors are all such encounter the anomalous effect and the entire group present for the dream of the original host what those will die when the effect ends, as will all but one of the others present. Oh, well then fucking don't do that. Just put him out in the... This is so stupid. You have an effect that's going to kill people every 20 days, but just put him in a fucking pit. Put him in a fucking pit next to another guy in a fucking pit. That's it. That is literally all you have to do to contain this. It's not scary. There won't be any nightmares. It's not scary then. It won't cause any nightmares. Just put him in a fucking pit. A deep pit that he cannot climb out of. Lower food to them. Monitoring equipment will extend the fucking course it will. And because you have this super dangerous thing and you want to be able to like make it more dangerous. Due to incident in 1903, all monitoring equipment have automatic shut up. <laughs> what? These fucking people, man. Like, what? So... They found out that monitoring it with cameras causes the fucking effect to propagate outwards. And their solution to that was to be like, hey, let's have a big old room. Like, look, that number is like, what, two, three digits, maybe? You're fucking. Uh, actually, let's take a second and complain about your fucking black boxes again. Because there's no fucking reason to cover up that number. It, you made it like three digits long, you fucking, fucking fuck. <sighs> if daylight savings time cost us one more set of researchers, I swear I'll demote every technician who has ever worked on this project to D-class. Well, that's fucking great. Take your technicians, a bunch of people who are highly trained in a particular field, and just, I don't know, kill them. Fuck it. Dr. K black box dash black box. You know what? That's I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a black box dash black box. So there's that at least. Still fucking stupid. Because you can't know who Dr. K is. I like how he inserted it before the end of the fucking... Yeah, that's, that's, that's smart. Let's insert my little... I'm gonna demote everybody to D class in the middle of the fucking article. Finally, in the event of... The death of SCP-1903-1, for any reason, the anomalous effect automatically triggers with the nearest human becoming host to the effect. There is no known maximum range of this effect, but due to the eventual dangers of testing, it's only been confirmed out to... What the fuck did you do? Is that another two or three digit kilometer number? What? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This is what it was designed for. This line. This line right here. Given that a single live recording of this object could be broadcast to and subsequently kill millions, I recommend this object be upgraded to Kier class immediately. Dr. C. Black box. That's the whole... That's your money line? Your money line is... I've Hey, I've written this thing that's incredibly dangerous. I've designed it 
I've literally designed it around. You literally fucking designed your whole, this whole fucking thing around that line as your punch. Your punch. You want to hit the reader as hard as you can with, and the whole world could be affected. <laughs> an idiot oh man and then you undercut your own you undercut your own thing by having the 05 at the end go nope not gonna worry about that fuck them <laughs> also <laughs> also this is another thing that a lot of a lot of writers do that i don't understand do you think that upgrading it from Euclid to Keter is going to change anything? The containment procedures are still the fucking same. There's nothing different about it. It's just, hey, we should consider this more dangerous. You fucking know that it's dangerous. Just treat it like it's dangerous. The Keter and Euclid and safe thing is just like a guideline. It doesn't tell you anything about what you, your containment procedures are going to do. It's just like a, a basic thing. Like, And if you're in charge of the project and you think it should be Keter, then the next time somebody comes in and they're like, oh, it's Euclid. And you're like, no, man, this should be Keter. And they're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> that's not a satisfactory conclusion to this you have designed your scp specifically to cause like all this terrible shit to happen if you're watching it over and by the way you only introduce that problem like you only introduce it one paragraph no one paragraph before the end like i mean we're not counting the little notes so monitoring equipment yeah and literally your 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 setup is one sentence before at the end of the paragraph that just preceded this one. <laughs> oh man, you so your thematic consistency is fucking off on this. You have a stupid ass name. Don't pick a number before you've actually got your SCP going. All your black boxes, all of your data expungements are fucking dumb. And this idea has absolutely no hope of succeeding on the wiki. Like, well, you know what? No, 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 no. I never want to say that. That's not true. All idea, the idea is not at fault. The idea did nothing wrong here. It was all the writer. The execution in this is weak. You set up your payoff like four or five sentences before you actually execute it. And then expect the reader to be like, oh, no, no one gives a shit. You could have been developing that payoff the entire time. This whole darkness, guys, in fact, and there's too many details to really drive home your point. It's not a bad idea, I guess. Like a guy, darkness and dreams and nightmares and bullshit is possible to be made into something good but there is no fucking way that you're a good enough writer to make it work like i'm just gonna be completely and totally honest with you that's what you wrote into me for in the first place and that's what you're gonna get you are not good enough as a writer to make this work i struggle to think that you will ever be good enough to make this work that there is ever going to be a point in your career as a shitty writer that you will have the chops to be able to execute this in a way that doesn't make me cringe. It's very rare that I say this, but I'm willing to go out on a limb here and say that if you keep this up, you will never be successful on the wiki. This article is full of stupid noob bullshit. Everything I've told you and everything that I've thought and thought was and honestly you may not believe this but there's a lot of stuff that i wanted to say that i felt was too harsh because i don't fucking whatever whatever whoever the fuck wrote this is a piece of shit and i hope they die because there is nothing at all redeeming about your article there's nothing about this that tells me that you're prepared to create for the SCP Wiki, whose standards are fucking way higher than mine are. And you know what? You know, I, I originally wanted to do these without knowing the name of the people that sent them in, but I can't fucking do it. 
I absolutely can't fucking do it. I'm looking at this right now, and I'm thinking, I need to know who this fuck stick is so that I can avoid them, so that I can make sure anytime I see your articles vomited up onto the wiki, I can note a downvote. Oh, mother... F Hello, my name is Christopher Clayton Morris, though you may know me better, under the pseudonym Dr. Sumerian. So yes, this was an article of mine from 2012. In fact, it's the only article I've ever posted to the site that was in danger of deletion before I, I think I got rid of it myself. I don't think it needed to be deleted off the site. I could be wrong. I might have just posted it and then disappeared. I remember 2012 when I wrote this, and oh god, was I a terrible writer? I mean, I'm not much better now, but this is probably the best example I can give you of the point that... You know, you can't be a good writer until you're a bad writer. Until you know what you're doing wrong, you can't improve on what you're doing wrong. That's what critique is supposed to be for. The thing is, I remember when I was writing this, and I was writing it based on the same as any other new writer on the site. I was reading the old articles, the SCP-173s, the SCP, which doesn't start with a description. It starts with a, this is where it was recovered. I mean, all of the old articles. And thinking to myself, I could do that. Because they're short. They're simple. They're actually fairly poorly written. So you're like, fuck it. I can do that. And you know what? I kept that draft. And this is the important part I want you to understand about harsh critique. Because while I actually do enjoy reading it sometimes, I'm be like, oh, snap. It's not fun for the people that are being subject to it. Especially when they didn't ask to be subject to it. When you genuinely want to improve and all someone can say is, there is no improvement for you. You suck and you will always suck. What are you going to do? that's going to be part of the point of this series. Don't expect me to ever again say that you are a bad writer and you will never be able to make this work because that's not the point of this. I'm going to be harsh. I'm going to be very harsh on anyone who sends in an article to be critiqued. I'm going to be brutally honest. I'm going to be very mean. It's just going to be a thing that we're going to do. But always remember, no matter how bad your article is, it's not a reflection on you. It's not a reflection on your ability to improve in the future. And it's not a reflection on what your next article is going to be. Oh, and also, do you think you can take it? Because if you think you can take it, why don't you send me a draft and I'll see what I can do about ripping it completely apart. There'll be an email in the description and probably flashing on your screen right now. And if you enjoyed this, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and probably most importantly of all, Share it with your friends, people who enjoy this kind of content. Don't be afraid. Just be like, hey, listen to this guy. He's fucking weird. Thanks for listening.